All right, guys, so today is a different kind of video. We're going to be talking about Kiska, the orca that um, has been at Marine Land for 40 years. So the reason we're talking about this, I mean, she's been an orca that I followed for a very long time. My heart goes out to orcas who um, are in captivity. Um, and she passed away um, a couple of days ago. Um, and I have to say that I'm relieved. I'm actually disappointed but relieved that she's finally free from the horrible conditions that she's been living under for so long. I've tried to record this video several times and I've had to start over because um, I have to be very very careful in the words that I use when talking about Marine Land. They do like to enter into court battles with people um, that say anything negative about them. Um, so I will link Things that um, are relevant in the description box below. Um, but we'll just go on a backstory about Kiska. So Kiska is dubbed the loneliest orca in the world. She's here at, or she was here at Marine Land in Ontario, Canada, which is only about 45 minutes from where we live. And as a child, I used to go there with my parents and enjoy days out um, but as I started to develop a love for orcas and look into them and research them I found out so many interesting things like how develop their languages and how they have different dialects and how um, they have really complex family systems that they stay together um, in pods in the ocean and how far they travel and just the beauty and majest like majestic properties of these beautiful mammals in the water. Um, there's so much more that we're learning about them that we don't know. Um, but at least in the past decade, um, information has come out about how keeping these animals in captivity is extremely sad and damaging to their mental and physical health. So um, in 2019, I believe there was a ban put out on keeping um, orcas in captivity and you, the breeding programs had to stop and um, they couldn't be like bought and sold in Canada, which is yay a win, except that Kiska continued to live um, as a lone orca without any social interactions um, in a tank that was far too small for her. Um, and in conditions that she was literally suffering. There are videos out there, go ahead and look them up. They're really sad. Some of them are disturbing of her banging her head against the tanks um, in frustration and boredom and depression. Um, she's like calling out for a companion, I suppose, um, just vocalizing a lot. Um, it's like being in solitary confinement. And over the years that she's been at Marine Land, she's um, parented five calves, all of whom have died. Um, and so to have that loss over and over and over again, um, and she had a tank mate at one point, and, or she's had a tank mate at a few times in her life. Um, and that tank mate that she was really actually quite bonded to died, which was over a decade ago. I think it was 11 or 12 years ago. And she's been alone ever since, which is just terribly sad. I know there have been a lot of activists and a lot of um, organizations out there that have like petitioned to get this orca released. Um, one organization called the Whale Sanctuary Project is one that I've supported um, because I just really appreciate the work that they're doing to free these animals from captivity. So they have found like um, a part of the ocean um, along, I think it's in Nova Scotia, and they built this well sanctuary that's like a cove that's sort of sectioned off from the rest of the ocean. And they would net it off and keep these, um, these animals that have been in captivity for so long within the, the netted off cove, but they would still have the feeling of the tide from the ocean. They would still have the sounds and um, 
interaction with other wildlife. They would have company with one another, but they'd still be fed and given veterinary care and all of that um, by the researchers and the people on site that are caring for them. But they wouldn't be forced to perform in shows or do anything that's unnatural. And people that came there could go to the education center and learn more about them in their natural environment, but they would actually be able to spend out the rest of their days um, in something that at least resembles their natural environment and um, have interactions with, like it's like a retirement and it, it, it's a beautiful thing. So I will leave the link for the Whale Sanctuary Project down below. You can also take a look at them. Um, but really, like I have to say, like Hiska's passing is a happy day because as, as, as humanity, like we have responsibility to care for the things around us and we failed her. We failed her in a big way. Like what more is she waiting for? We've known for decades that this is a bad situation. There have been protests. There have been like organizations that have written to them the SPCA has investigated the there have been so many animal welfare calls like to get help for Kiska and she just continues to slay like be in that tank and um, oftentimes like trainers and other people would say she lay just sort of floats around listlessly um, and it's just really sad I mean, there are even videos I've seen where her tail is bleeding profusely. Like there's a trail of blood behind her in the water and she doesn't even want it to be taken care of. She refuses to go into the medical pool. She refuses to let like present her tail for, for care. Like she's just really had given up on life. And I mean, I can only imagine. It just, it breaks my heart. Really, it breaks my heart. Like. I've tried to record this so many times and I just want to cry. Um, so what more was she waiting on? Like if we couldn't do it in a decade, if we couldn't do it in two decades, what more was she holding on for? Um, so her passing, she's finally set herself free and she's done what no one else has been able to do. Like Marine Land themselves have known how poor the conditions are and how wrong what they're doing is and they were refused to set her free um and with all the 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 knowledge from the animal activists and all the the organizations and all the government bodies that have known what's going on no one in all the red tape has been able to just release this animal to a sanctuary or back to the ocean or do anything good for her so she's finally released herself and like she doesn't have to suffer another day at the hands of us. Like we've all failed her. So I just hope that this never gets repeated. I know that the beginning of March, there was a walrus at Marine Land. It was the last walrus and her pup. And um, a trainer had been working for years to get them set free. Um, and they finally, the beginning of March of this year, were transferred to a facility in Dubai that had a newer facility, better living conditions. They'd be in a group of other walruses so the isolation wouldn't be happening. And so that was a, a win for them. Um, but we just couldn't get it done for Kiska. And unfortunately, she's now died. Um, she's not the only one that has died, as far as the research I've found. Um, I will link those details below so you can take a look for yourself as to how many orcas and what the circumstances were around their death. But I hope that at least a lesson has been learned from this. That's all I can really say. Um, and I'm just, I'm relieved and I'm glad that she's, she died. I'm sad that um, as humanity, we couldn't have done better. Um, it's really sad, really, really sad. So if you can spare a few dollars and you can um, send a donation to the Whale Sanctuary Project um, so that they can continue to help at least other, other whales and dolphins and 
um, belugas. There remain, I think, another 51 belugas at Marineland and five more dolphins. Um, they have an order not to use them in shows, but that order, according to what I've seen, has been investigated. Um, them sort of working and 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 not following that order. Um, so we'd like to see whoever's left be rescued and um, allowed to live up the rest of their days in better circumstances. <sighs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching.